Your music exclusive. I, I, I grew up like a savage. One, two, we back. And we got FOD in this motherfucker. We got STI in this motherfucker. What's happening, man? Right, hold on, hold on. We got no vultures in this motherfucker's <laughs> man. You know what I mean? Don't really get it twisted. Really yeah. Today. Wait a minute. Dapper? Mm -hmm. Dan, yeah. Hey, man, Come I'm on, trying, man. man. Ain't no trying. You know what I mean? That's not in our vocabulary no more. Okay, you, right. you know what I mean? Trying, right. maybe, happen, right? if. You right. Uh, uh, could, should've, would, should've. should. <laughs> That's little cousins of a big ass lie. We ain't doing that in 2024. How y'all doing, man? We doing we wonderful, good. man. Feel, mm -hmm. you back. Yeah. You never left, <laughs> but you back. Yeah, I was going to say that, but then I was going to let you say that. Yeah, but yeah. You yeah. <laughs> Shout out to OG Clee. He fresh back. Man. Come on, man. Yo, Shout out to OG Clee, man. man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're going to stay out them people way. He, he, For sure. he held you down while you was gone. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Man, that's bro, man. Every, I love Every him. interview. Every one. I mm -hmm. love him, man. I've been going through him, and he ain't missed a beat. Mm -hmm. Come on now. <laughs> what's the word, fellas? What's new? Shit. Grinding still. New day. Yeah. Grinding Oakland, still. New artists, you know? New music. Yeah. Trying to make Oakland great again. What's the latest sure. signings to FOD? We got we got Seminary Tip. Yeah. Seminary Tip. Like, just, just dropped two. Yeah, you know what I mean? She was doing a bunch of work day, yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. You know, shooting. She shot, tried to shoot a double video yesterday, so she's putting that work in. You got Kai you know for real. Mean? Kai for real. Shout out, shout out, certified said this one. Yeah. That's Kai. smart type entertainment, but you know what the FOD at, stamp. Man. You know what I mean? I say, where the young A5 homie at, man? Oh, Fonte. Oh, yeah. I was with him earlier today. Yeah. I was with him earlier. He was supposed to be up here with me right now. But know. nine times out of ten, he working. He yeah. don't be doing no jerking. So yeah, kill her around so there man. in them Oakland streets working. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was with him all day today. Yeah. So, so Phil, uh -huh. shaking back and getting back to it, right? You, yeah. you never stop working, but having the pressure of knowing that you was up against it, yeah. having that pressure released, released off you, how is it? It's wonderful. It's beautiful. You know, I... I ain't, I ain't stress it. I knew whatever it was, it wasn't gonna be forever. And it was gonna have a date. So it was just like, okay, cool, let's go knock this out and get back. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So I was ready and prepared for whatever it was gonna be. You know, just knowing that that was over my head, I had to be. And I, and I text you already yeah. too, man, my apologies. We was uh, interviewing Devin Haney. Yeah. We having that fight, they was doing a press run. Uh, I missed yeah. the, uh, the documentary, man. Yeah. How was that? It was dope. It was dope. We uh, we knocked off the Grand Lake Theater off the bucket list. Uh, you know, I done knocked off the Oracle off the bucket list. You know what I'm saying? Just mm. trying to just, you know, put on for the city. More uh, accomplishments. Yeah, more Fact. putting on for the city. It was a lot of um, Oakland representation in there. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's what I do it for. Is that, is the stigma of Filthy Rich coming off as far as the city is concerned? Like, they always, you know, it just seemed like they always was trying to ban you for something or stop you from doing something. Yeah. But it seems as of lately, I think that people starting to get it that you are an uh, executive and you yeah. are you are a rapper first, yeah. but you're in the music industry and you are an executive. So they you getting treated more like a boss these days instead of like you just some street nigga. Yeah. So I feel like, uh, you know, the people that might have a, a certain stereotype or a, um, stigma about a certain individual they might have heard whatever they heard from someone else before getting to know someone so like people don't tell me for oh man i don't i don't rock with dude man he uh this type of way but i'd rather just get that f from him myself than what because he might have been that type of way with you because you might be a certain type of way mm. right. so right. he might not be that type of way with me because right. i might be a different type of way so i'm not about Absolutely. to judge him off that Things might be different, you know what I'm saying? So, right. with that being said, I just feel like the people seeing it, you know, gravitating to it, and they realizing what I'm doing. I'm trying to, I ain't trying to take, I'm trying to give. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to build, you know what I'm saying? So, I want to see everybody win. I want to see everybody successful. I want to see everybody, you know, living their dream and doing whatever it is that they want to do in life in a positive light. Facts. Evo, I've been seeing you get more in your executive bag. Yes, sir. You've been doing it already. Right. Uh, I've been told you I look at you like the way Jim Jones was in Dipset. He was a utility knife. He did everything. Right. right. Nigga All purpose. Videos, right. A and R. Rap, you know, hype right. man. Everything, right? Whatever you need me to do to make it work, man. Um, uh, Assuming that role and going through it, do you feel like you're becoming more and more fluent with doing it? I'm actually loving what I'm doing. You get what I'm saying? 
it's a hustle. And I love to hustle. You know what I mean? So it's just a positive hustle now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I ain't ducking no cops, really. Right. You know right, what I mean? Right, I ain't running right, from no right, police. Right. You know what I mean? But I'm still asking for it. Yeah. And as long as you ask for it, you won't, if you don't ask for it, you won't never know if you can get it. So as long as I'm asking for it and I'm putting it in their face, you can't do nothing but either say yes or no. Do the people that know you from your past, do they look at you different now? Absolutely. Yeah. You look got at me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> absolutely. absolutely. He, he, he able to he able to do this. Yeah, and able to do that. Yeah, right. if you know what I'm sure. saying. A lot of people ain't able to clean up and talk to talk. Um, I wouldn't say properly, but you know, respectfully, and right. come have an interview. Fresh off the block, then when hit the mall, got dressed. You know what I'm saying? Join yourself downstairs partying. Mm -hmm. You, know, you got to be able to, you know, multitask. You got to be a chameleon with this. That's a fact. Literally. If you, if you, if you, if y'all look at the state of where we at now, as far as the town, we talked about this earlier with RBL and us needing a, uh, like we, I, I gave the analogy of family selling grandma house and nobody coming back next year together for Thanksgiving, right? Yeah. That's how I looked at the town. But how do y'all feel about somebody like Lil D coming back, having shit like this, and bringing all these different walks of life together, man? A blessing, man. Blessing. I'm sitting up there watching it. You done heard so I'm, many stories I'm, about it. I'm getting inspired, like, nigga, I need to do, I want to do mine. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm sitting what, like, you know which, which birthday I want to do mine? I'm looking at the dancers and the, and the artwork and everything. I'm I'm getting inspired by, and like, then you know what the city, like, some type of chain of command again because right, we that we never right. had we was lost mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's like having this is like okay we got somebody that ready to get back on the throne and right. another king that's and that's not in our bracket but we right. gotta respect because we all kings right and we all in kings in our own bracket you know what i mean so when you pay homage to another king like Lil d that and did what he didn't did for what everybody around here calls, say they are gangster, the street hustler, whatever. If you're not here, you're not really in yeah. tune on what you say you are. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Because if you was here, you wouldn't let your history be a the mystery. mystery. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you can and you can look at what's going on and tell it's organic. Right, yeah. right. You know what I mean? That's the for main sure. thing. For sure. Because I'm seeing all the people. They happy. They dancing. They showing love. Yeah. It's all organic. Yeah. It's how it's supposed to be. This supposed to be documented. This supposed to be saluted and celebrated. It's Oakland. Yeah. It's Oakland. Yeah. This having fun. And, and, the, and, the, and the, the same things we prided ourselves on, which I think uh, what fuels it is niggas going to prison, but we yeah. pride ourselves on not being gang members, right? Yeah. But with that, the pecking order went away, like you were saying, mm -hmm. right? So we never, like, you know, People around our age and younger would be like, man, these fucking big homies because niggas was boozy or right. do some fly ass Misleading. shit. Misleading. Because we yeah. in competition or yeah. you a real big homie. You Misleading. Know, uh, Envy, jealous, really leeching around. I mean, we have some fucked up big homies too. You know yeah. what I mean? Some, some fucked big, up homies big homies too. Yeah. Only hanging yeah. with younger yeah. homies because they wanted the younger bitches. Yeah, they want, or they yeah. wanted to manipulate yeah. them. You know what I mean? Right. So it's right. like, you got to understand what your big homie stand for. If he was actually yeah. giving you knowledge and you was really paying attention and utilizing it, then he was a big homie. Yes, sir. Because he yeah. gave you free game. Yes, you paid attention one, to you. One of mine in here he right now, it. the nigga who gave me my name. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nigga who gave me my name, he ain't here right now. He, man, I love what you're doing, man. Yeah. Hey, man, he keep representing from the hood, taking this shit to the next level. You know what I'm saying? So that's... Make a nigga feel good, you know what I'm saying? As in passing this shit down generation to generation. I now, I introduce him to the younger niggas from the hood that right. he might not know. Like, hey, right. this Kai, hey, this Tudor. Right. They right. from the hood, you right. feel me? You know, when I was out there, they, that's who who I gravitated to. Mm -hmm. But now that he done stepped away, they might not know each other, you know what I'm saying? So, and, But they now, they with, with me, you feel me? So. And with, it, with, with, with this, speaking a little deep, just in, in, in the same train of thought, where does that leave y'all in the mind frame of being a big homie, right? Because it was such a turn off for the people who wasn't solid, but knowing you solid and knowing there's little niggas up under you because y'all giving people a reason to be inspired. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you trying to be the little niggas' peers. It's yeah. like you trying to be the yeah, I, ain't, I ain't really trying to be the big homie. I just want to be somebody that you can relate to. It could be big bro. It could be, you feel me, just, you know, something that you can be able to come to and holler at if it's good, bad, whatever. I ain't mm -hmm. trying to be over nobody or mm -hmm. belittle nobody. Like, we all men, no big me's, little you's. We equal. You know what I'm saying? I bleed like you bleed. But 
I've been here a little bit longer. I can I can tell you what I've been through. And you can learn from my mistakes. Right. You get what I'm saying? So, but I feel like at one point in time, it was none of that going on. Mm. Yeah. Niggas wasn't doing that. Everybody's for self. Yeah. You get right. what I'm saying? Everybody was in competition. So it, it's it's a good thing that that's back around. As a um. And um, I just saw something earlier while I was watching something with Philadelphia and I was uh, watching something about A.R. Ab and they spoke of Philly and how catching a pistol case is a misdemeanor, right? Mm-hmm. Same as here. Your yeah, first one, for right? sure. It was 28 days. The, O.R. The fact that you just got yeah, out and getting... full gun, but you was a felon. The felon with a firearm takes it yeah. to a federal level, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Explain to the young niggas, feel how if you don't have a case. Yeah. Why is it important to just go get the gun legally? Because niggas don't really do crazy shit. Yeah. So having a gun ain't crazy. Right? Yeah. But you. Like I was just telling my niggas right now, like, nigga, if, if it's hard time, then go get a job. Right. Like, ain't nothing wrong with it. Don't make you less than a man. You can still rap and get a job. Fact. You can still be a gangster or street nigga or whatever. But hey, listen, man, I got to take care of these kids, though. Man. I got to take care of these bills, though. Man. You get what I'm saying? Ain't no hood harder than fatherhood. You get what I'm yeah, saying? So at the yeah. end of the day, it's like, but don't don't fall to this stigma. Of, oh man, I'm to this. I can't know this, man. Right. Listen, man. Yeah. Go on here and you yeah. feel me and fall back and do what you got to do. Cause I didn't know a lot. I know a lot of street niggas that was selling all type of birds and pounds or whatever and changed their life and now they got a good job. Mm. I got a good business. Yeah, and they, and, they, and they still a good man. You yeah, know what I'm saying? They yeah. still represent. And I know some hustlers that's hustling still today that's still good business because yeah. it's, it's a business. It's not It's not a lifestyle. It's not yeah. who you're supposed to be. And at the end that of the day, wild stuff is is something that you. Yeah. At the end of the day, you're supposed like to therapy. get in the you game to get out the game. You went through some stuff, PTSD. Yeah. You yeah. don't know your problems. Yeah, yeah. So you got this built up anger inside of you. Mm-hmm. And you're not trying to figure out why you're mad. Yeah. You, why you always yeah. want to be mad, tripping on stuff. Financial, yeah. financially, a lot of niggas, a lot of niggas you can't help your grandma. Youngsters. A lot of the youngsters, they you don't know saying? how to you hustle. You want to yeah. in your heart. They don't know how to but hustle. They don't hustle know how to hustle. hustle. Yeah. So you they never was outside hand to hand. You feel me? Sack for sack, rock for rock. But you in your so heart, you want to do it. So you rub off on the right. Everybody else that's not giving you because that's all you know is pacify. Plus the whole thing was to get in the game to get out the game, not to stay in the game forever. That's only going. That's only going to lead you to what? Death or jail. Eventually, I don't know no nigga that was in the game. That didn't go to jail or didn't get shot or didn't get robbed or didn't die. You get what I'm saying? That comes with it. So when that happened to you, you can't complain about it because you know what you signed up for. Right. And we talking about somebody that's showing y'all outside of rap multiple hustles. We talking about somebody showing y'all how to breed dogs. We so we showing y'all. Man, I got a makeup line. Mm-hmm. I had a salon, <laughs> clothing store, dogs, weed strand. Come on, man. You name it. Like Come anything on. I can. I can receive a revenue off Shark Tank, basically. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah sir. literally. Mm-hmm. If, 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 if we can make a dollar, we about to show know how to flip it. You take the music and you use it as a stepping stone yes, to get indeed. into different things. Become Definitely. a household name and you become a brand. Once, once you become a brand, I can sell a shirt that say Filthy Rich. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So this is what this is for. You might not want to rap forever, but at the, through your rap um, journey, you, you became something. Mm-hmm. So... You can, you, can, you can never stop getting money. Like I just did, okay, I just did the deal for the features. I charged ten thousand a feature, ten thousand a burst. Okay. I just did the deal for the features for fifty nine hundred, cause I'm from seminary. Just on some, man. I'm, anybody serious about their crap? I'm doing feature fifty nine hundred right now. Right. I'm only doing five. Yeah. That's a thirty watt. I just did that and doubled back and just did the same thing for the videos. So I just wow. just just pocket a sixty ball, or oh, five verses, and and helping, yeah, and, and helping, yeah, but just on some random, right? Like right. I wasn't doing this forever. I just man, let me see. let me let me think of something right quick, marketing type yeah. wise, and just and it and it worked. That's, that's you know what I'm dope. saying. So with that being said, that's come from the rap and the hustling, whatever. You a rapper, you you could do anything, but a lot of a lot of them they don't want to. They don't know how to hustle. Mm. They wasn't out there hand in hand, busting down a zip, busting down a quota. Don't know, you know nothing. Saying? You gave Four them a chicken the right now. You know they wouldn't they know just, how to fry. They just, they just want it. You know I mean? They just want it. <laughs> how do how do artists get the attention of D Boy or Filthy Rich? Like if they they like, oh, I see this FOD shit. The motion is real. This shit is really happening. Man, it's on Debo right now, man. <laughs> Everything coming my way. I'm sending it to Debo. Gotta go to Debo. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, you can't be scared to spend your money. 
Uh. Key of success or key of coming up or key of building, you got to spend some money to make some money. So only way you getting help from FOD is if he's paying attention that you're spending money into yourself. Right. Only an investor want to invest spend. Want to invest into yourself. An investor want to see you investing in yourself. If I don't, if I hear you talking about what you want to do, but never investing in what you want to do, I'm never gonna give you nothing. Because the whole thing is you gonna want me you to keep investing. You gonna and you're not really gonna care. Running, not really gonna care about it because videos, it ain't coming out your pocket. Pay right, for your right. stuff. So it's just so like okay, he gonna filthy got it, filthy got it. Filthy. You ain't really gonna take it. Over serious here, and as it's get, coming out your pocket when you come right. over here you gotta be like i got the money for it but i just don't have the plan yeah, yeah you get what i'm saying yeah. and my game is to give you the platform and i'm gonna give you the plan right. you get what i'm saying we're gonna work the plan and you're gonna work your money based into this you're gonna learn why this is what a budget this because this is what if you was going to a major label and they gave you an advancement this is what you have to do right. plan that right. money out right. to make that money come back right. so you can get another bag next year Fact. right Fact. So therefore, you have to have some money, work your plan, do it, and make it come back. And flip and it serious, and double back. If you're serious about it, it's going to come. In 2024, FOD, what do we expect? What are we going to see? Shit, 2024 here, man. We here. I just feel like, like as of right now in the town, if you ain't talking about us, you ain't really talking about nothing. And not in a negative type of way, right. as in we work for that. Right. We built for that. Like we we build in, like we touching, we got the eighties, the nineties, the seventies, sixties. We got the whole we got the dubs. You get what I'm saying? So got, now it's more more unity of bringing the north together, the west. We need some you know what I mean? We got to branch out. Yeah. You know what I mean? But we need some we need some good Represent CEO men over there also. Okay. Correct. Because you know we not from over there. So. Shouts out to Fab. Right. Shouts so out to Third World. Said, little I, blood. Wanna, you know I would love I mean? to bring the whole bay, but I'm not from the city. I'm not from Richmond, right. not from right. Vallejo. So I don't want to get over there and get the wrong thing going. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I need yeah. some business good men that understand that, 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 that we're we're separate on that way. We're separating we politics from business. Yes. You know what yes. I mean? Yes. Literally point blank. We're yes. separating politics from business. You can't take care of your kids because you want to politic before you do business. Get the fuck away from me. Excuse my language, but this yes. is just straight. Get away from me, man. You, are, you say you're a man, but you want to politic and you broke. Yes. I don't understand <laughs> you, bro. You know what I mean? Go on, step to the yes. sideline yes. and let's deal about this business, man. Because yeah, the whole thing is like this, bro. It's about money, bro. That's what we rapping for. Sure. We're not rapping. That's what you damn near we're not, for. We're not rapping. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just keep you can say it on it ain't the niggas, most important thing, but dissing niggas and getting it, nowhere with it. Yeah. How do you really you understand? Feel? You dissing a nigga at the club, not gonna book you. You get played at the club. You dissing a nigga, the radio ain't gonna play you. Right. You get paid off radio experience. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So the whole thing is like, that's cool standing your business. You got an issue with a nigga. All right, I wouldn't recommend it. Learn from my mistakes. I don't regret doing it, but it was a bad business move. Yeah. Back, but, but I was able to shake it and, and, and double back in different avenues. Everybody not might not be able to do that. So if that's what you want to do, cool. But just know what come with it. The people getting your business. We we rapping to get paid. I don't Investors really, I don't, don't really want to know invest. no niggas that just blew up off dissing. Investors right, right. don't want a keyword. Investors clubs don't want clubs don't, don't want to invest because you you a lot. So now you're rapping and you can't get show money on the yeah. side because you can't get booked. So if you're you got, that check only come. Remember, music payout every ninety days. So within that ninety days, you need to figure out how to make some money. Right. And you get also, what I'm saying? Right now, the whole thing Are you going to be asked out talking about right. what I'm supposed to do? Right, 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 right. right. right now, the whole so thing is about streaming. It's about streaming. No shows, it ain't about no money. back in the day. See, I was, we were selling CDs. Niggas was going right. on iTunes, $10. Hand I'm in hand. I'm out the trunk. Now, ain't, you won't see a CD. Everything about streaming. So you make sure you're on the streaming, on the streaming platforms, the SoundCloud, the uh, Spotify. The um, niggas got to understand, you rap and put an album out, you got to shoot videos because they got to stream the video right, for you to get right, paid. Right. So you got to be in all these platforms now to get paid. You got to adjust to what's going on. A lot of, like, all the big rappers that blow up, them niggas will put a song on Spotify and blow up on yeah. the streaming service because they just want to listen to it, yeah. not buy it. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to understand, if, 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 if Kai got an album out, for him to get paid, he got to have fans that's listening to his album Correct. all day for him to right. get paid. Supporting. Not to go in there and go buy the album right. on iTunes. They got to be on Apple listening all day. One time I'm talking about like a super fan. Yeah. And it takes so many streams for one album sale. Right. So nigga like, bro, I dropped the album. 1500 I dropped the album. Come on now. I ain't get paid yet. 
Right. Nigga, nobody ain't listen to it. <laughs> right. For real. Me, I drop an album, nigga. I still text everybody in my phone the album. That's what I'm saying. And, nigga, you got to sell something tangible. If, if I can sell one album to one of these niggas in here, it's going to be so much easier than trying to get 1,500 motherfuckers to stream this one song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To get one sale. And then, no, not even just that. Some of the niggas ain't even on the platforms to be streamed. To be streamed. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to get your business in order also. Awesome. Got to get your business in order. This is a party. I don't want to hold y'all up. But before we uh, let y'all go, can y'all give some words uh, to Lil D for having this again, man? Just for bringing everybody together, man. And just letting him know y'all appreciate Yo, it. Yo, I mean... Well, I got to say this. Shouts out to Lil D, man. A living legend. Glad to have you here on these streets. Uh, what you done did wasn't the best decision, but it was a wise decision. And uh, and it, it's paying back. It's paying back because you got smarter, you got wiser, and you're giving back. And uh, Oakland needed. Oakland needed somebody that uh, we want to respect. You know what I mean? And we got to respect because at the end of the day, the time reflect on why we got to respect. You get what I'm saying? So, uh, shouts out to Mr. Reed, man, you know what I mean? For being a stand-up legend, OG, and giving back to the city to try to make Oakland great again. See, me, I I commend the, um, the long phone calls, the conversations, the advice, the guidance. You get what I'm saying? Like I said, when I was doing the music we didn't really have that we had a couple older guys but they wasn't in tune or tapped right. in that's why they was janky that's promoter why, yeah that's why d doing what he doing because he was in tune even mm -hmm. when he was locked up mm -hmm. still reaching out having phone conversations in tune what's going on build it from the inside yeah but i mean it's, it's authentic it's genuine love i i appreciate all support he you feel me with fod with me with the hood whatever so i i, I can't do nothing but you know reciprocate the love, you get what I'm saying, and, and, and pay homage and salute, you get what I'm saying, like, you did your time, you came home, you, you stood on business, and just in God's faith, you here, yeah. so that's a blessing, you get what I'm saying, and that's what I preach, you know, principles and morals, you get what I'm saying, so, um, sure. salute, love, D. Man, 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 I appreciate y'all niggas for stopping through here, man. We getting back to this party, man, and uh, yeah, I'm trying to go knock me an OG, man. <laughs> For real, one, yeah. one, hey, one that got a hey, bank on his phone, man. D, D, D got him, D got him in there, man. Nine hundred credit score. Hey, in there, I'm trying to knock nine hundred, maybe hey, a thousand hey, credit hey, score hey, down there, man. I'm it's telling you, man, in there, down looking, there, man. man. Yeah, he bringing homeowners out, and they choosing. Yeah, they ain't looking, man. I'm trying to go in here and go grab me one. Yeah. Man, shout out to Certified Seds. And Free Big Said, though. Said, what you want to say to the people, man? What you got out right now? Oh, man, that new Don C just dropped me on all better platforms, man. You know, um, I got something Don C too dropping January 12th. Uh, top of the year, we're kicking it off, man. Going strong, man. Shout out to Lord D. You know what time it is, man. Hey, Free Big Said, man. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, for real. Free Big Said. Free Big Said, man. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we gone, man. I'm just trying to stack racks up like you. Put an eight in a one and do magic. Trying to stretch hair around like elastic. Eco friendly drug dealer, I don't waste no plastic. Use all four corners of that baggie. Uh, all I ever wanted was a bankroll. So I pull up on champ before the bank close. Say no to stank hoes and stank clothes. No paramedic pimping, nigga, we don't save hoes. Yeah, rest in peace to Lil' M.